Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second or maybe third video. Uh, we're going to look at the weather in 10 to 14 days for today's second or third video. Uh, day 10 will take us to the 1st of September and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the exchange GFS and ESM on some because maybe we're going to run a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks which will get us well into the second half of September. I should get time back for you in a moment just to say that the first video release today we said about that one the better uh so <laughs> that was a 6 a.m upload and uh it got deleted because there was no sound um <laughs> so uh i recorded that last night and uh there was a software failure on obs and uh and uh, i uploaded it you know i hadn't realized that it wasn't picking up the mic um, the mic wasn't turned off, it just, uh, OBS has just lost, um, lost the mic, so, it, um, I had to change settings this morning, uh, but I hadn't realised that, I uploaded it, and uh, I don't listen to the videos back, unless there's a complaint or something, I, it's terrible, really, you should listen to your, to your content before you release it, but I don't do that, because I don't like hearing my own voice, so, uh, so I hadn't realised that there was a failure on the software, and, uh, and so this morning at 6 a.m., uh, yeah, that was a release. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, you know, you all, you all saw a silent, silence is gold, um, as, uh, the tremolo sang. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that was, that was the first video. So that got deleted. I then did the version two of, um, the, uh, 6 a.m. upload, UK weather forecast. That was released around 11-ish. That one's okay. I'll check that one. It's working all right. And now we're doing the 10 to 14 day. Gas back, everyone. Gas back, gas back. And so is all the cock-ups as well. Uh, right. So, um, we're going to be ending on with 10 to 14 day. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of your lovely messages of concern and kindness over the past couple of weeks. I am doing a lot better. I got a little bit run down. You know, uh, everything that's gone on at the start of the month. So I took myself off for a couple of weeks and had a break, had a nice rest. And uh, I am feeling a lot better. So thank you so much, all of you, for your uh, for your messages of kindness and concern. I have read all of them. I will uh, reply to as many as I can over the next day or so and, uh, and whatnot. And, um, you know, you'll get a like or a heart or something if I don't do an actual reply uh there are a lot of messages to get through um but thank you so much i have seen all of them and i want to say thank you so much uh to all of you and yeah we're back we're back in business we're back doing the weather and uh and we're back with everything <laughs> going wrong uh as well but um i think a lot of people enjoy it when it goes wrong i don't but a lot of people do enjoy it when it goes wrong and it just backs up what i've always said no one no one does it like that. And that can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing sometimes as well. But what no one can say is, um, I'm not unique, you know. <laughs> No one does it like Gav. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's crack on with the 10 to 14 day, our first one for quite some time. Wow, wow, wow. Let's start off with sexual temperature. The CT is currently standing at, uh, let's enable the highlights. There we go. CT is currently standing at 19.3. Gosh, very hot. That is 3.6 degrees above average. That is provisional to the uh, 20th of the month. I think I'm going to struggle to stay in the 19th, but I reckon we're going to get an 18 Celsius CT August here. It'll be our first one for 19 years. It'll be the first 18 Celsius CT August in 2003. It follows on, of course, from 18.2 in July as well. So we're going to have a pair, a pair back to back months in the 18th, which is really quite unusual. It doesn't happen very often that you get two very hot months together. So, uh, so yeah, I think this is going to probably finish up to mid 18s, maybe. It might even be the hottest month of the summer, which is again quite unusual for August, uh, especially so after a hot July as well. So, um, proper, proper hot summer this one. And uh, the CT currently at 19.3. Gosh. Right, these are the GFS upper air temperature and temptation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line 
is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. We're starting off a little bit above average at the moment. Those upper air temperatures will get warmer as well over the next uh, few days. So around the middle of the week, we'll probably see temperature in the southeast corner peaking at around 30 degrees. There's a little bit of a drop down in the upper air temperatures going on then into the bank holiday weekend, but still warmer than average. Still going to be presently warm right way through to the bank holiday weekend. As we go into the first week of September, um, also looking pretty warm then as well, really. So, largely above average temperatures from beginning to end on the ensemble graph, uh, actually. By the way. Um, and uh, and uh, some quite hot members as well. Some of these up here are going uh, really quite hot, for example. We can't discount the cooler on some members down here, too. There's quite a bit of scatter there as we get into September. But it looks pretty warm at the very least, doesn't it? over the uh, next week or two. Precipitation-wise, there's going to be some wet weather over the next few days, so not going to be completely dry. Uh, we have uh, had a little bit of rainfall over the past week or so. That will continue. It's not desperately wet by any means, certainly not enough to make up the drought or anything like that, but there will be some showery bursts coming through, I think, during the final week or so of August. Maybe a bit of a drying trend, though, as we go on into September. So, perhaps September turns a dry September does tend to be quite a dry month actually so we'll have to wait and see about that temperature anomaly is <laughs> from the 22nd to the 30th of August are above average not just for the UK and I but for all parts of Europe in fact there's no blue on there really is there maybe a little bit down uh, down there maybe a little bit just there uh, and possibly a little bit around Iceland. But generally, that is a very, very warm looking uh, Europe. Warmer than average, right way from West Coast all the way over into Russia. Amplification anomalies from 22nd to 30th of August, largely drier than normal as well. So I've been away for a couple of weeks, come back, and still basically the scenario goes on. The scenario of the summer, drier than average and warmer than average as well. Warmer and drier than uh, normal in the week ahead. But I just went for a map from EarthNoSchool.net shows that we've got a trough of low pressure moving across the country today. More about that in the 11 a.m. upload, not the 6 a.m. because there's no sound for that. Silence is golden. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Right, let's go through the... I am a bit giddy because I'm back doing the weather after being away for a couple of weeks. Right, let's go through the chart data then. So, uh, here's the UK Met Euro run for midnight on Thursday. Low pressure will be to the northwest of Scotland. There's a bit of a fungy low down here across France, but I don't think that's going to get any storms up to us. Um, then you get this rich building in at the end week into weekend. That will lower the temperatures. So, although there will be a lot of dry weather as we go into back holiday weekend, temperatures will be lowering down uh, a bit. And uh, that rich end stays with us right the way through to the very end of the UK Met run, which gets us to midnight on Monday under that area of high pressure. It'll be pleasantly warm uh, for back holiday Monday. I think there's a lot of dry weather coming up uh, as well. Not a heat wave, temperatures probably low to mid 20s Celsius. I think a very nice weekend actually could be on the way here. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Da, 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 da. The sound of silence. I'm very, very sorry, my friend. Uh, right, okay, I can't. Looks like that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, low pressure to the west of Scotland. I was down the cringe when I watched this back, the cringe. Uh, right, low pressure west of Scotland, though, on Thursday. Really warm in the southeast corner around the middle part of the week. And then high pressure reaches in off the Atlantic end week into weekend. That turn things cooler and fresher, but will bring a lot of dry weather with it as well, I think. So the uh, bank holiday weekend looking very, very nice here. High pressure dominates. It'll be a fresh sort of feel, I reckon. Uh, so pleasantly warm, but not excessively hot. A really nice weekend could well be on the way. Of course, not a bank holiday for Scotland, though. They've already had the August bank holiday up there. Uh, GFS Midnight Run, looking like that. And again, low pressure is to west of Scotland on Thursday. A little bit closer with that fungy low into southeast. Well, that might 
might clip in some fungi showers or something to far southeast. But um, into the weekend, high pressure extends up from the Azores, keeping a lot of dry weather going into back holiday weekend. But it will be cooling uh, as we get to the end of the week into the weekend. Presently warm, but not a heat wave. Heading up toward day 10, the anticyclonic influences continue. But we have a deepening area of low pressure there around Iceland and southern Greenland uh, for the first day of September, which of course is day 10 uh, today and that low pressure eventually starts dropping southwards as we move through the first week of september so this turns us more uncertain it's quite warm we bring the air up from the south but as this low pressure drops in from the northwest that does actually turn things more unsettled and that low pressure will bring potentially quite a bit of wet weather into southern Western and southwestern areas. We have got high pressure over Scandinavia. That's some way away from us. So, through the first week of September, GFS Midnight Run, only one run, but the GFS Midnight Run does turn things a lot more unsettled in the first week of September, especially for the south and west, with that area of low pressure bringing showers, long spells of rain, and maybe some thunder too. GFS 6 there, looking like that again, just a little bit closer with that fungi low into the southeast corner, might threaten some storms into the southeast late Wednesday. And into Thursday. Then high pressure sort of reaches through the country as we go through into the bank. Holiday weekend, although there is a low in the north, but probably brings some showery weather through there. But I don't think things are looking too bad into the bank holiday weekend. Not heat way, but pleasant, uh, a lot of dry weather, some sunny spells. I think it could well be quite a nice bank holiday weekend. Uh, heading up towards day 10, though, then the high pressure begins to weaken. Low pressure is around Iceland, so I have to push in from off the Atlantic on the 1st of September. And again, similar to the midnight run, the GFS 6 out also turns things quite unsettled in the opening days of September, with low pressure revving around the country, with heavy showers, longer spells of rain as well, potentially. We're under an area of low pressure. We haven't been able to say that very often for the past few months, but we are under an area of low pressure, not just a chop, but it is an area of low. Uh, there on Friday, 2nd of September. Um, that gets out of the way, though, pushes away to the uh, out in Giantic, actually, and high pressure builds to our east. That pulls in a very warm or hot southerly or southeast. So up to 15 Celsius isotherm there uh, for the 4th of September. That probably gets the temperature back to 30 Celsius. Could be volatile, though. It might trigger thundery downpours and, and whatnot. Looking quite warm and maybe a bit thundery as we get to the end of the GFS 6 z run, which again gets us to Wednesday, the 7th of September. So by the GFS runs looking a little bit unsettled through the first week of September. Definitely the midnight run, more, but more so of the two, uh, and cooler as well, where the GFS 6 z does turn things unsettled through the opening day or so. Uh, but then turns very warm or hot, but could be volatile. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that, everybody. And drop a comment. Let us know what you think about all of our videos. I mean, thank you so much uh, for doing that. We're back. We're back doing the weather after a two-week break. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Right, GM. Uh, looks like that. With uh, low pressure rest of Scotland on Thursday. And then into the bank holiday weekend, this ridge builds through the country. It might still be showers on that ridge, but it should be a lot of dry weather, I think. And although not a heat wave, it should be quite a pleasant uh, bank holiday weekend. We do probably a little bit more of a northeasterly, though, I think, with the GM, which probably brings more clouds to the east. It's certainly like a cooler uh, wind direction. And high pressure remains in control right way up to the 1st of September, day 10. Again, it's not a heat wave, but it does bring a lot of dry weather. Uh, with it and will be very pleasant if it comes off. And then the ECM WF has low pressure again to West Scotland on Thursday with showers or maybe even some longer spells of rain uh, up there. It's certainly possible that uh, there could be. And uh, then that ridge of high pressure extending through the country as we go through the uh, weekend. Uh, Bank holiday weekend brings lots of dry weather uh, as well. And then on up to Bank holiday Monday. Again, high pressure is a little bit further north, so a little bit more of a northeasterly influence. It's a bit cooler, probably a little bit more cloudy for the northeast. Why bring some showers onto those eastern coast areas? But overall, 
I don't think the Bank Holiday Weekend is looking too bad. And that high pressure then stays with us, stays in control of the weather as we get to day 10, which is Thursday the 1st of September. Is some low pressure out to the northwest, so could that low pressure need to move in maybe through the first week of September? We'll have to wait and see about that. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tometro.com. Showering uh, over the uh, next 24 hours or so. Most of the rain still again. You'll see in the north and west. There's very little getting into that southeastern corner. The rain is still really struggling to get down into the far south southeast. So it's first one just very, very close to the far southeast corner. Around Wednesday to first. It's just clipping through the channel. But doesn't quite make it into southeast. It stays, stays on the other side of the channel and uh, the North Sea, unfortunately. That would be very useful if we could have got so, those storms into the far south and southeast, but it does not look as though uh, we'll be able to do so. And then we head on up towards day 10, and again, the emphasis is on dry weather. So, as I said, I've been away for two weeks, I've come back, weather has broken a little bit, so it's broken a little bit, certainly not as hot as it was, but, you know, we're still struggling to get rain going here, even up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10, which gets us to the first day of September. 17 members of the ECM Ensembles have high pressure rate to the northwest, and we're probably bringing wind from like a northeasterly type direction. So, um, I'll try away with that, uh, but uh, not a heat wave. We're pulling wind in from east of the northeast, so very pleasant, but uh, but not a heat wave. And a lot of dry weather with that, of course. 14 have high pressure again, more or less over or slightly to the west of the country. Again, that brings lots of dry and um, fine weather for the start of September. Not a heat wave, but pleasantly warm. 12 members of the ECM ensembles have the high pressure further away to the northwest, and probably bring a little bit more of a northeasterly influence, might bring a little bit of shadow weather into the east, but again, we'll have to drive over that. And then eight with high pressure once more ridging through the country and going north as well. So, it will be options really involving high pressure for the opening day of September. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This will get to the 6th of September. Ten members of ECM ensembles have a trough of low pressure right over the country, and in combination with northern blocking around Iceland and Green, will not only be cool but will also be uh, unsettled as well. Ten members of ECM ensembles have high pressure dominating over Scandinavia. They bring in the winds from the east, mainly dry and warm. With that, nine members of ECM ensembles with high pressure more or less over top of the country. Again, dry, potentially very warm there. Uh, nine down here have high pressure around Iceland and Greenland. Low pressure just to our south and southeast. Now, that could bring some very wet weather into the south, actually. Maybe thundery weather into the south. Um, seven, with the classic north-south uh, thing going on. So low pressure the north of Scotland, high pressure over France. That brings the most unsettled weather into the north. But even the south could be a little bit on the showery side. And then six, including the control run, has high pressure just to our west. And so around that, we bring in uh, winds from the northwest. So a little bit cooler with that one, but still the emphasis is on lots of dry weather. Uh, so let's meet you finally. These are 500 millibar high tonnage bring down in two weeks. So first week, we'll take from 22nd to the 8th of August. The coming week, we'll have high pressure retreating a little bit away to the uh, northeast. And it's trying to turn a bit more unsettled out to the northwest, but not really all that successfully so then the high pressure comes back for week two we're going to be the 29th of august and 4th of september high pressure dominating to our north that brings lots of dry weather it probably won't be that hot uh winds coming in from like an easterly direction although we could bring in wind from right to south easterly and that would be very warm actually for the start of september Week three is going to be, I'm sorry everybody, uh, week three will be the 5th to be 11th of September with high pressure just pulling out to our west and uh, to our northwest as well. Um, does not show a trough of low pressure? It might be a bit of a trough through there, so that might be a certain cooler with winds coming in from the northeast. Might be a bit more showery uh, as well. And then week four is the 12th to the 18th of September. High pressure away to the northwest, so that is like a, a change for September there. 
high pressure going away to our northwest, which means that it's certainly a cooler uh, scenario. We're bringing the wind from a cooler direction, uh, like from the north and northeast. There is a trough of low pressure to our south and uh, southeast as well. That could threaten some wet weather, particularly so for all southern parts of the country, interestingly. Uh, temperature anomalies for week one look like that. 22nd, 28th of September, uh, above average in the south, near normal further north. Week two does look quite hot. This is the 29th of uh, August, 4th of September, significantly above average temperatures there. Week three, still above average, 5th to the 11th of September, uh, by about uh, half to one degree or so. And then week four rounds it all off, and that is above average too. 18th of September. I'd say with the position of the high pressure, to go back to it, uh, you know, in week three and four, with the position of the high pressure out to our west and all that, I can't see why it would be particularly um, warm, to be honest. I reckon that'd be like cooler wind direction with winds in from the northeast. But anyway, it's showing above average temperature for the next four weeks. And uh, precipitation wise, lastly, uh, so week one is driver normal, 22nd, 28th of September. September that, uh, of August, sorry, that is uh, driver normal. Week 2, 29th of August to the 4th of September, is a bit driving average to the north, near normal precipitation elsewhere. Uh, week 3 uh, is about average, but we are losing the signal now at this point. Notice drier to our west and northwest. And week 4, to up to the 18th of September. Uh, again, we're losing a signal, but it's drier out to our west end of the area of high pressure. It is a little bit wet just to the south, though. You really have to squint to the screen to make this out, but just, I'll be, uh, just ever so slightly above our rainfall. We come over here, also ever so slightly above our rainfall, like in the North Sea and whatnot. Could turn more unsettled, perhaps, as we get into the middle of September, because that's four weeks away, so it is a long way off. And we got to if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that, everybody. Don't forget to your friends and family to subscribe as well. And why not drop a comment and so we can get into all of our videos. Well, thank you so very much for doing that. Dunno. <laughs> to you. Uh, right then. Well, that's it. We're back doing the weather. We're going to be back tomorrow with the uh, 6 a.m. up road. I shall make sure... Not the mic is working. We'll also have the uh, European Outlook extended for the next five days, slash six weeks for UK for the rest of Europe too. And don't worry, there will be a change of 14 day coming along as well. Coming along, I should say, uh, as well. You enjoy the rest of your Monday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.